Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another strange, weird thing I'm gonna try out. I've already done like a similar video to this. It's also very strange. It's basically a Korean beauty hack. It's called Jam Su, and it's basically you like have to dump your face in water after like foundation and concealer and stuff like that. So if you guys want to see that video, I'll link it down there in the description box if you guys want to check it out. But basically in today's video, I'm going to apply my foundation with a condom. Yes, I know it's <laughs> it's a little weird, but um, I have to get credit to Beauty Vixen because I can't forget that because people will get mad in the comments. But um, Beauty Vixen, she I think she came up with this thing weird thing i'm pretty sure i didn't really look any further into it but i think she did if you guys want to see her video i'll link it again in the description box um but <sighs> this is so strange <laughs> basically um this is kind of like a perfect video for me to film because a little story time right now a while ago i um ordered condoms online and I saw this like post, like free condoms, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, whoa, that's interesting, free condoms. I was like, you know what? Don't have anything to lose. I'll just order free condoms. So um, I got my package in the mail with the condoms. And then I had a little letter that said I had to pay one or two euros for the shipping. And I was like, what? Like such a ripoff. <laughs> like it was free condoms, but I have to pay shipping? Like what? Um, so yeah, it was not a problem. I mean, it was not that much money for the shipping, but it was just like a ripoff, like free condoms. But I still have to pay shipping. Like this is like what? <laughs> um, but yeah, so I paid that. It was not a problem. And then a month went by, and I got literally the exact package in the mail. Ten condoms again. I was like, really? Like no <laughs> way. And. I tried, like, I tried everything. I tried, um, like, contacting customer service. I tried emailing them. My mom did so much stuff to just stop the sending of the condoms. Nothing worked, and it kept going on for, like, probably, like, a half year or something like that. So now I'm just left with so many condoms, like, probably, like, 50 or 60 or something. It's, like, ridiculous. I just have so many condoms. So this is literally perfect to film. I can just use all my condoms for a beauty blender. It's perfect. It's meant to be. <laughs> you guys want to see me putting a condom to my face? Then keep on watching. Oh, that sounds really strange. If you guys are interested, then keep on watching. <laughs> okay, hi guys. I am back. I've got a condom. And I've got a beauty blender. So... This is so strange. Okay, so I'm gonna open the Beauty Blender. The Beauty Blender. Really, I'm gonna open the condom right now. You need to be really careful, you know? Make sure you don't have long nails. Make sure you don't cut into the condom, you know? So I'm gonna take the condom out. So this is what it looks like. This is gonna be so strange, so weird. I'm looking in a little mirror over there, so. So now I'm going to, oh, it's full of lube and stuff, Oh, Okay, so I'm gonna clean it right now because it looks really disgusting. It looks like it's already been used, so that's great, right? And then, oh God, am I really doing this? I hope no one's watching me because I, I can see like the backyard of like neighbors like on the other street over there, so. I hope no one's looking at me, because that would be a little strange, so... Ugh, I'm gonna clean it off right now, because I don't want to have all that lube on my face. Okay, so it's clean right now. I wish I would have filmed how I cleaned that, because that was actually really funny. But I cleaned it, I used so much soap, like, it, it was crazy. I'm gonna dry it off a little bit, so it's a little dry, you know? Makes sense, right? So it's a little wet inside, but that's fine. So now it's clean, I'm gonna... Okay, so now I'm going to put my beauty blender in here. So, like I said, I don't know if I said it or not, 
but the girl that came up with this, so Beauty Vixen, um, she actually put lotion in hers and then she kind of formed a ball with that. You know what I mean? So like a beauty blender. But the other girl that I saw doing it, there, there's two videos right now up. Maybe like by the time this goes up, there's another video up of someone doing the same thing as I'm doing right now. Make sure it's clean. Like I cleaned this so good and I used so much soap. So make sure you clean it very, very well before you put this on your face. So I'm gonna put my beauty blender in there. I'm just gonna, so I'm gonna kind of open it like that. And then put my beauty blender in there. So strange. Oh wait, I think you have to do it other way around. So the tip is like at the tip of the, I don't wanna say penis, but the tip of the like, you know, condom. So just kind of push it in there. Like that, I guess. That looks really weird. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm doing this to my beauty blender. I'm sorry, beauty blender. I love you. I'm so sorry. Okay, I can't push it on any mother. Any mother? So. This is so strange. Okay, once you got it like this. Okay, so now that it looks like this, this looks so freaking strange, and I hope it's fully clean. Anyway, so now I'm gonna tie it off. Make sure you tie it off so the, this thing isn't like wobbling around you know what I mean that was just against my face anyway so I'm gonna kind of twist it like this like that I guess I don't know and I'm go oh, this doesn't work okay I'm gonna make a little knot like this if my parents walk in right now oh my god okay so it looks like this now I'm gonna find my foundation with this this is actually great because it's like the perfect shape because, you know, of the Beauty Blender and it's like literally perfect. Make sure there's not any like dust on it, you know what I mean? Yeah, I've got my foundation here, my concealer and stuff like that so I can get ready. I think it's pretty clean now. Yeah, this is just perfect. Like it doesn't waste any product, it doesn't absorb any product. It's like the shape of the Beauty Blender, so it's perfect. Let's see how this works. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. I'm gonna use... The MAC Pro Longer SPF 10 foundation in the color NC15. So I'm gonna use this foundation, it's almost running out, which I'm really sad about. And I'm gonna mix it with the Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow Brightening foundation in the color Ivory. So I'm gonna mix these two together. I love this, it's like my perfect shade, but this is a little bit too dark. So I'm gonna mix these two together. And I'm gonna apply it on my hands because I think that's gonna be the best. Oh, I forgot, you need to apply less foundation as if you would with a beauty blender because it's not gonna absorb any, um, you know, products. So I'm gonna use a little less. Forgot to, I forgot to think of that. Like, it's so weird. I'm used to like using so much foundation because the found like the beauty blender just absorbs so much makeup. So, okay, so I just mixed my foundation together. I don't know, I'm just saying that's so weird. I already done my like eye makeup and brows so it's just like easier and you know, I don't know it also looks a little bit better because I hate when like like my eyebrows and stuff are not done it's just ah I just hate it. it just doesn't look like complete you know okay I'm using so much foundation like I would regularly but let's see how this works shall we Okay, let's do it. Hmm. Huh. I'm not sure. Hold on. Not sure about this, guys. It looks... A little weird. Don't know how to feel about this. It's... I feel like it's a little bit splotchy and it's not applying evenly. I mean, of course it wouldn't do that, it's freaking condom, but it, I don't know, it just, I thought this was gonna go like really good because the videos that I saw, the people were like, oh my god, this is amazing, I'm gonna use a condom every time. First of all, the sound, like what, <laughs> it is so like, not disturbing, but like weird. Oh my god, I don't know how to feel about this, guys. 
I, uh, I really hope no one like walks in right now because I'll be really weird. This is so weird, like honestly. This is so strange. Uh, I don't really like it, guys. I don't really like it. It's not really doing wonders, but um, let's continue. Let's try to blend it a little more. I don't know. Let's try on my forehead. I It just takes a lot of time to blend out, and it just... I don't know. This sound is so weird. Like, I can't get over the sound of this. I feel like it's starting to get better. I feel like once I started blending it, it was really splotchy. But I feel like you just have to continue to blend it, and... I have to say, guys, I'm actually starting to like this. I really am. I just looked in the daylight, and I feel like it's not bad at all. Like, so far, like, I like it. What I mean with so far is that I still have to apply concealer, so we'll see how that works, but I'm not hating it. Like, it does give a pretty, like, nice finish. It's not bad, like... I'm digging this. Oh, now I'm going to try concealing with this, so it looks pretty dirty. I'm gonna clean it off a little bit. I cannot really clean it off. I cannot clean the foundation off. It's literally just sticking to the condom. Now I'm gonna try concealing with this. Oh my god. What am I doing with my life? Literally, what am I doing? Apply on my nose, on my chin, a little bit on the forehead and then under my eyes all right so i'm gonna add a little bit of a lighter concealer by the way the concealer that i used is the uh, maybelline instant anti-age eraser eye thing in light so i'm gonna for a second concealer i'm gonna use the cover girl ready set gorgeous in the color I don't know. I call this I don't know because I literally don't know what the color is, so it's just a very light kind of color, you know. Oh, I'm gonna put it a little bit under my eyes for a little brightness. Just for a little, you know. Brightening up like that under eye. Okay, let's see how the condom sponge works with concealer. Okay. It's blending it in. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so let's now try the under eyes, which I'm most excited for. Oh my god, guys. Wait. Okay, no, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. It's so flawless, like what? Wow. Wow, I can't say any more. Look at that. You guys see that? The Beauty Blender is still better. The Beauty Blender actually pushes the foundation in the skin and this kind of just like lathers it on there, you know? But I'm liking the finish though, like, this is crazy. I hope you guys can see how it looks like the same way that it looks like in my mirror here. Hi, hi there. Guys, you need to try this out because it's so, it looks so flawless, so beautiful. Want a flawless look for a night night out, then let I'll say let's go for a, a condom on the beauty blender. I feel like I'm now gonna try it with some powder. I don't have any translucent powder, but I do have some baby powder and a little thin, so let's see how that works. I'm going to take a little bit of powder. Hmm. Surprisingly, it did kind of take up the powder. So let's see. Putting it on the bridge of my nose. Hmm, not bad. Not bad. The Beauty Blender definitely like, you know, like takes up the powder a lot easier, but on the foreheady, 
Oh, there's powder spilling. Okay. Huh. Well, it's working. So I'm basically done right now. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and put some powder on to um, set my face and then I'll be right back. I'm sorry the lighting sucks like balls, but <laughs> I finished my makeup. Um, my skin looks flawless, it looks amazing. It's not really picking it up on a camera, which is a really bummer. I recommend you guys trying this and I promise it looks really good. I know it's weird, it's a little strange, but trust me, it works really well and it looks flawless. If you guys have any video requests or anything like that, make sure to post it in the comments so I can see it. And if you've done this, if you tried it out, then make sure to like tag me or something, you know. You don't have to, but it'll be fun. On Twitter or Instagram, all my links are in the description if you guys want to follow me or anything you can also add me on snapchat if you want to be really personal but um i'm not really on there much because i don't really have an audience right now but um if i do have an audience then i will definitely post some snaps on snapchat so um yeah i'll see you guys in my next video and yeah bye if we go down then we go down together they'll say you could do